Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of driving the fully upgraded career mode car on F1 2020. When we had the first episode where we did the first three races and also explained a little bit about kind of the history of, of this series, I guess, because this is technically season four that we're just kind of powering through just to, just to try the car really, because it is an absolutely insane car. So we're going to join that more today. Do watch the first episode if you haven't already. Let's get to the first race though, which is Baku. Here we go then on the grid for the Baku Grand Prix. I said in the last video that I was going to adjust the setup slightly because I found that Monaco actually having high wings made this car so much more stable and so much easier to drive. And although Baku is not the sort of place you want high wings, I've gone for 4.8, which is two clicks higher than I normally have on this setup. Uh, just because I think it'll give me confidence. I think it'll allow me to go through the corners faster and also get better exits because traction is important. With this much power, we're struggling to let it down. So let's give it a go then on the start here. Let's see if we can have a good start. Try and get past as many as we can on the start and see how far we can get, how far we can get through the grid. Starting course, last place we always do on these races. Only five laps to get through the field. Oh, so much wheel spin. So much wheel spin. We're squeezed by Joe Vanazzi. We're going to... I mean... All right, if <laughs> they're going to leave the gap, we're going to go for it. Still only 16th. Oh, a bit of contact there. Norris not giving us any room. We've got actually a warning. They're going to dive bomb a few people here again because, again, they're going to give us the space. So why not? Right. Now it's go time. There's a yellow flag. I think it's behind us somewhere. Now it's go time. Now the real work starts. That was the easy moves up to 14th at the moment. Do we bother with a dive bomb here? Yes, we do. These brakes. Oh, it's the, it's the, whoa, it's the brakes that make the biggest difference to me. The brakes are absolutely insane on a fully upgraded car. Obviously, it's got a lot of grip, but actually the grip feels largely the same. The power difference is big, but that's just straight line speed. It doesn't actually make that much difference. Of course, you do struggle a little bit for traction, but it's the brakes. You can brake so late. Do I dive a mock on here? I'm tempted. Wasn't just tempted. I actually went for it. Nice move there. Got it all slowed down nicely up to P12 now. Not a bad start. We were struggling to get high up on the grid before. Oddly, the best result was actually in Monaco, which again is when we had those higher wings, which is why I've gone for the higher wings today. In the hope we can maybe make it through the grid despite lacking straight line speed. Do we go for on stroll? Oh my word, bit of contact there. Squeeze him into the wall. He's pitching us into the wall now. I guess that was fair enough. I guess that was fair enough. We, we're we going to go from here in a minute and we are going to do it again just because I feel like we can definitely make that move stick. Break a bit later. Oh God. Okay. Look, one more time. If it doesn't work this time, I'm giving up on it. I think we can definitely make this move stick. Oh, no. Okay. Let's take a lot of curve, but let's let him, have the, let's have, let him have the position. The braking distances are so short with these cars. They, of course, also have got quite a lot of upgrades on their cars. I imagine a lot of them have got the full brake upgrades as well. We actually haven't got much ERS now, though. We used it to attack Stroll and didn't actually end up, end up attacking him, which is why we run out of ERS here. Not ideal. We are still closing in on Stroll despite these relatively high wings. Look at this. That's amazing. I thought without ERS, we'd have no chance. I assume he's also ran out, but still, that was easy. We just walked past him in the street, even with these higher wings. Oh my god, I thought I'd outbreak myself then. I actually could have break later. Insane breaks. Insane breaks. Oh, a bit of contact with the outside wall there. Not too bad that we got through it. Clean enough. Clean enough, of course. The issue isn't the battery charge like it normally is. The issue is the amount that we can deploy per lap. Our ERS system is now so efficient. Oh, and I'm definitely not getting the max amount of this car. It's almost impossible. I really, I would need a fair bit of time to get up to speed with it because it's so good. So much better than the other cars. But it's just impossible. Trying to take a real swing in line there. No, messed that up a little bit. Did I? Can I get the exit? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, aggressive. We just snuck through up to P10. We could be really aggressive on this track. Oh, almost in the wall. Almost in the wall. We got away, but though, a bit deep in there, though. A bit of an inside lot. Oh, sliding through there as well. Try to get up to Kvyat the best I can. Right, I'm going to save up some ERS for the straight this time. Surely we can walk past Kvyat if we can save up our ERS. Let's try and send it through here, though. Pretty good. Pretty good. Look at the gap. We've already got a second gap to match for stabbing behind. Oh, I don't want to be touching the inside curb, but we did. But honestly, I do find the handles curves a bit better. They're largely the same, but just having more downforce, being more stable, we're just able to handle the curbs a bit better, I find. Anyway, we're actually not gaining as much on Kvyat as I thought we might. He must have also saved some ERS. Look at all this ERS we're using. We're still not gaining. Wow, Kvyat's fast in a straight line. We're going to struggle, I think, to get near him. 342k, but DRS is enabled this lap. That is going to make a big difference in this one. Because we are now going to be so quick in a straight line. We are quick 240k without DRS before. 
But he's also got it, of course. Can we get past him now? Maybe. I doubt it. It's going to be a dive bomb. It's going to have to be a dive bomb. Nice move. That was actually really clean. Surprisingly, managed to pull it off really nicely. Two more laps to go after this one. Let's try and get past Perez in the lap so we can then concentrate on the cars ahead. Previously, we could only get to P8 apart from Monaco. So, it's looking good so far. Can we get the exit and get the dive bomb? No. No, no way. Too far back. Far too far back. He's, of course... Oh, God. Bit of a corner cut there. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not allowing just a one-off corner cut to give us a penalty. That kills the race a little bit, doesn't it? So... Let's uh, undo that. Almost did it again straight away. Come on. Surely we don't die bombing here. No. That's not wise. Oh, we've got so much more speed than them, though. We've got so much grip. It's just stupid. We could just send it. Now is the time, though. Now is the time. Surely. Come on, Sergio. Let's be having ya. Let's be having ya. Oh, he's defending. Oh, my word. <laughs> I did not. How many flashbacks we need in this race? I did not expect the AI to defend into there. Can we go on his outside if he defends again? Oh, he's going to hit us. He did a little bit. We're around his outside. He actually had a spin there, but oh well. Now we need to try and get in DRS range of Albon up ahead. Pretty good final corner. Where's the detection point? I think we're not going to get it. We're not going to quite get the DRS. That is going to be pretty disastrous. Or are we? Yes, we are. Our straight line speed is so good that we've got within it. We just gained two tenths on the exit of that corner. We're going to run out of ERS, but we're going to get DRS. Let's see. No ERS being deployed whatsoever. And we're still gaining speed. 348, 349. We can surely break 350 quite comfortably with a bit more ERS saved up. I say saved up, of course. I do mean just usage throughout the lap. Oh, a little bit deep in there. We're okay. Right, how much further can we get? We've got two more laps, including this one. Obviously, we're not going to be able to get to the Mercedes, but we can maybe get the Alpha Tauri. Who is that? That must be Gasly, I guess. There's Schumacher, our teammate of old. Can we dive bomb out one here? No, too far back. Too far back. It is fun having this car, though, because you've got so much grip that you're able to use. Oh. There you go. There's the grip. Look, I went so deep there. We still got past him. Potentially lost a bit too much time there. Maybe it wasn't worth it, but let's just get up to Mick for now. In the Ferrari. Again, I love that Ferrari was signed Mick, by the way. Oh, that's a bit deep. Oh, yeah, again. I'm just going to... We're just going to keep flashing back. This, this is a fun series. It's not a serious career mode series. Who cares? Not me. That was a bit too slow through there, actually. It's okay. We just need to stick with Mick. Oh, there's so much grip through there. Normally, that's quite a difficult set of corners to get through cleanly. But there's so much grip in this thing. Right, I'm going to save up the ERS now. I'm not going to use any more. And we're going to try and use all of it and see what sort of speed we can reach down the straight. Bit too much curb, but it's okay. We got through it nicely. And how fast are Ferrari in a straight line now? Of course, 2020. Oh, is that going to be another one? Oh, again. I just, I just, we just, we're just being chill. It doesn't matter. Let's use all of the flashbacks. We've got no limit to the amount of flashbacks we can use. Right, let's go. Bit of slipstream as well. This is going to be quick in the straights. Yes, how quick are Ferrari going to be? 2020 Ferrari, of course. Not known for its straight line speed. We actually might run out of ERS still. Maybe. Got a bit more than last time, that's for sure. Slipstream, four tenths back slipstream. DRS and ERS. Oh my god. 358. Remember, this is completely vanilla. No mods. No mods. Well, actually, we're running a visual mod. No performance mods whatsoever. This is the last lap of the race. Can we get both of the cars ahead? To be P4, that would be some result in just five laps on the back of the grid. Come on. Let's try and get to them. Oh, God. As if I got that stopped. You can break. I, I honestly, I'm nowhere near the limit on the brakes. That's the incredible thing. Whoa. That was a big moment. Big moment. The incredible horsepower of this car just kicked out there for a moment. Oh, a bit wide. God, where can we get them? We're not going to get them before the start finish straight, surely. No, we actually, no, we're not going to be. Mick was too fast in the straight, I think. Bit of contact with the wall there, but we get away with that one. Oh, we need to get past Charles in the next section, I think, cleanly. And then get Gazzy on DRS, because, of course, he won't have DRS. Come on, let's get him now, can we? Oh, Charles had a great exit there. I don't think we can get fourth. Maybe fifth is our maximum, unless we can get them down the straight. Oh, carried a lot of speed in there. Look how close I am to him now. Is he going to defend? That's going to slow him down if he is. 
He did slightly defend. Right, let's get the exit of dreams. No, that is... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd already taken my hand off the wheel to flash back before I even crashed there. I decided that was not good enough. I want to get a great exit and see if we can maybe get fourth down the straight. Maybe. That was not bad. Not bad. We're going to get the slipstream. Can we get both of them? How ooh, fast or slow is Gasly going to be? The clerk's run out of ERS. That's going to be an easy move. So is Gasly. So is Gasly. Surely not. Surely not from this far back. Look at the overspeed. Oh, we missed it. The line just came out too fast. Oh, my God. I didn't even check our speed there. But that overspeed was insane. We were... Probably, I would say, at least a second back. Well, around a second back at the start of that straight. And we just flew past him. Insane. Anyway, I don't even know what the next, next track is, but let's get on to it. I'm excited for it. For those high wings, this is much more fun to drive and insane. Here we go then on the grid for the Austrian Grand Prix. Actually, one of my favourite, if not my favourite track on the F1 2020 game. So I'm looking forward to this one. Just did a quick qualifying course, qualified last on purpose, but... Hamilton on pole with a 59. He broke the one minute barrier in a completely unmodded car in career mode. Insane. I'm excited for this one. This car feels incredible at this track. Insane straight line speed. The corner speed is just stupid as well. Let's have a look. Let's try and have a good start here. Not bad. Better than last start, but it wasn't great either. Should be able to... Oh, Giovinazzi is coming very defensive. We're still going to go the inside of it, though. Almost, almost hit the TV double lock up there. Let's try and get the exit. Come on. Whoa, what's going on? What's going on, boys? Why am I getting pushed? <laughs> what was that all about? I assume there must have been three. Yeah, three wide. <laughs> it's quite a good drift, to be fair. Let's, uh, let's, let's try that again, shall we? Basically the same thing, but we're going to keep it a bit tighter this time. Let's give them plenty of room because I think they are still three wide. Yes, out there. Tell you what, their power's all right. They're, they're keeping up with me. Not bad at all. All right, now we can normally dive bomb a few here because those guys are pretty slow into here. Probably could have even gone a bit further than that. But that, oh, God, hello. What's going on with this AI? This re the Alphas. What are they up to? Let's try that again. <laughs> can we chill out, Joe for that, see? What are you up to, mate? Perhaps I thought I sent it. Okay, he's not done it this time. So we're going to stop here. That'll do. All right, come on. Now, now once again, now the race is on. We've just got a couple of free overtakes, but now the race really begins. I tell you what, give me out. Of course, that must be lighter wings. We've got relatively high wings, really, for this track. But it means we can... Oh, I could have been way later than that. But it means we can hopefully go much quicker than through the corners. But we're going to be struggling a little bit in a straight line. Just managed to sneak faster. Can be out there, which is handy, because now I can really send it through these corners here. Nice through there. And again, it's just, it's it's not flat, but it, compared to the normal car, it feels like it should be flat. <laughs> it's just stupid. Oh, we've used too much ERS. Oh, God. Set out is easy. A seventh gear corner now. Hold gear up to what it is normally. Oh, that one bit wide. No, we've got away with it. Want to use overtake, but haven't got any ERS left to use. You can see Ricardo pulling away there. Come on, let's stick with him now. Let's send it for here. They're quite slow for here normally. Yeah, so are we that time compared to what we could have done. Now, what can we do here? Only up to P12 for now. I want to use all my ERS in one straight. We should be a very easy dive bomb, especially when they're that far to the inside. What are they doing up ahead? Okay, we'll have the outside line then if you're going to offer it up. Thank you very much, Gasly. Up to P10. How far can we get in this race then? Uh, actually, I just realised our teammate, Hamilton, look, must have got a penalty. He must have got a penalty. He's not on pole. Why did he get a penalty? We've got a pretty... It's not a fully upgrade of the uh, durability department, but it's a pretty insane durability department in general. In fact, I've just realised that I never, I haven't even looked at my power unit components this season. I looked at them in the last video, but I don't, I don't need to change anything. Why has he got a penalty? That's put him back in the pack, but he's got a rapid car. He's side by side up ahead. Oh my, what? someone just sent it on me. In that turn, are you mad? Oh God, we're going to get a penalty in this race at some point, I think. One more warning, we get a penalty, but never mind. Okay, let's see. We're actually struggling to keep up with them a little bit now. Maybe the... Maybe the, the high wings weren't a good idea. Okay, that's a penalty. We're not going to get a penalty, so we may be in for a few more flashbacks this race, but stick with this one, because I want to I wanna see where we can get to. We're not able to keep up with straw at the moment, but I think we're just not getting much out of the car. Yeah, I mean, look how much we just gained through that one corner alone. Come on, Stroll. I want to have you this straight and see if we can get up to Hamilton, our teammate. 
Easy. Easy, even though he also had DRS. You can really carry so much speed through there. Normally the bumps unsettle the car a little bit, but it's not really the case, to be honest. I don't know what it is. It does just seem to ride the bumps better. I'm not sure which upgrade's causing that exactly. Can we? Surely not. Yep, we can. It was a bit rude, but and it would have it would have been a crash in real life, if we're being honest. But uh tell you what though, I did get it stopped. Ah, oh, so much grip through there. I just I, I honestly it's hard for me to extract full performance out of this car because it's just stupid. It's a stupid, stupid car. How much is doing it again through here? That just shows the ridiculous grip that he's got. Seventh gear. Oh, easy. Whoa! I say easy. Oh, but I'm going to have to flash that back. Oversteering seventh. That must be my setup more than anything else. But what? How? He just flicked it in, got it on the curb. That's going to be another penalty. Shout out to you uh, flashback haters right now. Loving life. Oh, my God. Why can't I get it through? I should I should have flashed back for the previous easy one, shouldn't I? Now I'm going to have to flash back for every little tiny mistake. Oh, it's, oh that's, if that's a flashback. <sighs> cool. Fun. Good fun times. Take off a bit more speed. That's more like it. But still. Oh, don't go wide. Oh, for God. End me. Oh, that's... I mean, I've just driven off the track there. I've done it again. How can I avoid that? Oh, God. This is going <laughs> to... This might be a new record for number of flashbacks in a row. Kill me. Doesn't help that I flashed back right on the braking zone, did it? Right, anyway. We finally got through it. Let's try and not make that happen all off the race. Uh, we've actually got a fast lap of the race there. Faster than Hamilton by just a small amount. Oh, my God. This, this is okay. This though actually is illustrating really well why it's hard to drive because it's so on the limit. It's you have to push so hard and your brain genuinely struggles to keep up with what's going on. I, I do normally struggle a little bit with track limits, but nothing like this. Now oh, can we get our one straight away? Absolutely rapid in a straight line, of course. Yeah, easy. No problem whatsoever. Go on, Hamilton. Go. Put your foot down. Right, can we just sneak past Hamilton? He's, of course, got the same OP car. I think he was like one and a half seconds up on everyone else in qualifying. He's going to defend, but we're going to do a late lunge. Easy, I think. Oh, I say that. Back down a bit. Right, up to P6. I tell you what, I only got two, one more lap after this one, but where can we get to from here? I honestly think I could be so much quicker than I am being. My brain just cannot, it cannot keep up. Right there, I was on the throttle so early, and I, I could have gone on the throttle earlier. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, let's not get 100 penalties through here this time. Oh, I actually did it nicely that time. Did it nicely that Hamilton's right with us, look. Of course, 110 AI got quite a big advantage, actually, in this uh, in these conditions because, oh, they could just, they could compute a million times a second on what's going on around them. Right, should be going around the outside of Verstappen, no problem whatsoever. Cheers, Verstappen. See you later, mate. I can't believe we just break that late. I break about 75 meters there, which is later than I break with a normal car going normal speeds. Right, Schumacher up next. Can we get a podium? Would that be our first podium or did we get a Monaco? I don't think it was a podium. Around the outside. Come on, give me a bit of room. That's just enough room, I think. Oh, we're not going to better get to Schumacher. I'm going to have to send it here. Oh, he's defending. Oh. Ah, again, shout out to all you flashback lovers. Oh my god, he really... What is he doing? What? What? I want to see what that was. What was that? Did he just hit the curb? Uh, I don't really know. He seemed to steer into it. Right, one more time. But this time, I'm going to go to the inside. What's he doing again? Leclerc, chill out, mate. So aggressive with us. Right, come on. Let's try and get to Schumacher. Come on. Let's get to him. Full send through here. Oh, so much grip. Try not to get the off track, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's insane. How? Do, how? How? On the throttle. Yeah, I mean, before the apex, really. I'm not going to be able to get to Mick, but it's been a nice one. Oh my god. Howardson got through, by the way. Oh. oh. I'm not going to be able to get to Mick. Just we start the podium. Oh my god. We might lose out to Howardson here. No, don't do Howardson. Oh. P4. Not bad from the last on the grid. Bit too aggressive in the race. Too many flashbacks, of course, but 
P3. Will we get a podium for the end of the season? I, I think we got a P4 in Monaco, if memory serves correctly. Uh, editor Alex will be able to correct me if I am incorrect. But anyway, one more race for this video, and let's try not flash back quite that much. And it is Silverstone. It's my home race. AI are incredibly quick there. I think we're going to struggle, but our higher downforce uh, setup is going to help us there. So fingers crossed we can maybe, maybe match that result. Fourth place? Let's find out. Here we go then, the British Grand Prix. I'll tell you what, I just did a, uh, a practice quali lap. My word, this track with this car. I hope you're ready for this chat. Video, comments. <laughs> Let's give it a go then. Good start, hopefully. Magnum Matsushita, rather. Come really across there. Oh, uh, what's he doing? Reminds me of a certain uh, someone else beginning with him. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I tried to give up. Okay, let's watch a replay of that because that was five wide. I, I mean, look, I've just gone, yeah, that's five wide's fine. And obviously, that was going to end in disaster. I'm actually going to even restart that race because it was a bit messy. It was a bit messy. And, I, and honestly, I want to do this track justice because even against 110 AI, my pace was up there with only one lap of practice. And this car is just next level at this track. Oh my word. Right, come on. So a half decent start here. Again, a bit too much wheel spin, really. Oh, I don't want to be up the inside here. Oh, come on. A little bit of a warning there, but that's okay. Should be right on this track. Bad exit, but we're still going to die bomb a whole load of cars here. Oh, a bit of contact, but we're okay. Going to do the same again here. Not going to do two. One should be fine. Bit of wheel spin on the exit. Again, we've got slightly higher wings, but actually this circuit, they really benefit from that. And you see that by our old teammate being right with us in the straights. But as soon as we hit the corners, although he's just tried to send it on us. That was a bad choice there, Mick. There's no way that's going to work out. Oh, come on, get it turned. I've actually had to turn the div up slightly because I was getting some oversteer into this next one. I always forget the corner names at Silverstone. Can't below what this corner name is. Is it Cops? I can't remember. Anyway, I was getting some oversteer in qualifying. Hopefully we're okay now in the race. We are not okay in the race. What sort of speed were we doing there? I've got speed it has. 3.30. Three. Oh. We just lost the back end at like 3.20 kilometers an hour. It should be easily flat, but the front end's a bit more keen than the rear end, it seems. Around this track. Oh, God. A couple of cars side by side. Oh, my... What? It wasn't this bad in quali. Anyway, let's let's uh, let's right. Let's pay a bit more attention now because I can do I can do better than this. That's for sure. I just need to actually be a little bit careful and be mindful that it is going to do that occasionally. Ah, oh, through these corners, it's just ridiculous. It's just no. Oh, oh, I wasn't going to flash back, but then they. Okay, fine. <laughs> Again, shout out to the flashback haters. Oh god, bad life. Oh my god. Oh, okay, look. Look, we're just going to embrace our fate now. We're just gonna, if you've come this far, I feel like you, you can't hate flashbacks too much. You'd have rage quit off the video by now if you hated flashbacks that much. Is he going to do it again? He is. I'm just, I'm just embracing it at this point. Just, I am a flashbacker. That is completely flat, that one, quite easily. Just have to be a bit careful of the rear end. Oh, that one, though. Not, I've always struggled through that. Right, going to go to his inside there because, yeah, he does jink quite aggressively. Oh. Well, this is uh, <laughs> three cars down the straight. Don't mind for down. This one is stupid. Oh, I could have carried more speed. I could have carried more speed than that. Utterly, utterly ridiculous bit of locking on the curb there because these brakes are so OP. We're not VRS, but that shouldn't matter too much. Only up to P11. We've got some work to do. Hopefully, we can be quick enough to really start making some moves. Now, this one as well could get a bit of oversteer. Okay. I'm okay as long as I'm quite gentle with the steering. I'm absolutely fine. Setup's not quite right, but of course I don't really have time to tweak the setups. We're doing three races per video after all. There are only five lap races, sure, but I haven't got time to spit, sit there for an hour for each race and get the, perf the setup perfect. So I am just using my generic setup. Now, these are the corners where I can really gain on them. Yeah, I mean, look. Look at that. Really closed in. Oh, they're still in the exit. They've picked up a bit of dirt yet. Still, still definitely gained. Bit of ERS now on the exit. To be fair, they're going quite well in the race. In quality, my pace was right up there with sort of P2. Oh, I took a bit of a lift. Can't do that again and we'll get a penalty. We're in the same situation as in the last race now. Oh, God. How is that not a penalty? Oh, it's just... 
I, this is the reason I've done this series, because I knew that it would be insane. And I imagine a lot of you guys haven't got time to get yourselves to, to career 4 in, to, uh, oh god, to uh, episode 3 of, of career mode. Sorry, sorry, season 4 of career mode. To really experience this for yourself. So I thought I'd make a series on it, and I'll tell you what, this is why I've done it. And I'm actually struggling to keep up with these guys now, to be fair, but... It's just... This track, if I had a better setup, I wish I had a bit more planted setup so I could really just send it. Fortunately, I haven't, but... DRS enabled now, and I'll tell you what, we're not going to get much further, I don't think. Clearly on this track, we've got a bit too much front downforce, not enough rear downforce. Front wants to turn, the rear does not... Right, come on, let's start making some our way through the pack now. My car is significantly quicker than them, as evidence. Look at the minimap. Lewis Hamilton pulling away from even the Mercedes. No problem whatsoever. Dirty air there, of course. Perhaps that's making a bigger difference with this higher downforce. I've not really considered that. Try when there's outside. Not literally, but just get the clean air a bit. That was a nice exit. Not one of my favourite corners, though. Come on. Right, is this next one going to be flat now? With some dirty air, maybe it helps us stay flat? No, not really. Oh, slight bit of oversee on, on that corner there. Okay, we can get past most of these guys, surely. We should be able to. Our car is so much faster than them. Yeah, see, I just, it's dirty air. I even shut my eyes then. It's the dirty air. It's a struggle, right? Come on. Come on. 350 in Silverstone. Don't mind if I do. Oh, very deep. Very, very horribly deep. Yeah, that's going to be it. That's going to be a flashback is what that's going to be. All right, come on. We better get that slow down a bit nicer that time. Squeeze them out, no problem. Only up to P10, though. Only P10. They're battling ahead. That's P6, potentially up for grabs. Come on, get the exit now. I don't really want to be side by side with them into the next turn, though, but it looks like that's going to be the case because they have four cars all within a very tight area. Ooh, sneak around the outside of the McLaren. Bit of contact. Let's dive a mock on here as well with our OP brakes. Turns in on us a little bit, but that's okay. We did dive bomb in. Right, stroll up next to P6. I think that's going to be it. But then we're going to get a fun lap at the end where we're just going to send it and see what sort of lap time we can do, I think. Oh. <laughs> the brakes are too good and the braking zones are too short. I, I, I'm going to try it one more time just because I know that I can do that. Like, I got it stopped within track limits. Squeeze them out here. Move done. I know I can do that. It's obviously a bit much, but that's the thing is that as the shorter the braking zones get, the more you have to really send it and just push them out of the way. There's no other choice. Right, come on. Let's have, let's have a real hot lap now and see what we can do. Oh, see what we can do in this car. We're not going to be able to be on Lewis Hamilton's pace. The 110 AI are just stupid in this, these sort of cars. Oh, it's so much better without dirty air. How oh, is that not a penalty? It's so much better. But they're going to be able to stick with us, but that's okay. They probably can't get us. Famous last words, but no, look. Even without ERS, he's not really gaining in this straight line. We're just too quick. Oh, this one is ridiculous. Just, just stupid. Utterly, utterly stupid. Hamilton's done a 21-0. Can we get anywhere near that? I doubt it, but we're going to try. Right, come on then. Let's have one last push that for this video. See what we can do. That one was a 22 9. If you need to find an additional two seconds on top of that. Come on. Oh, I could have break even later. Ridiculous. I just don't. I do understand, but it's just ridiculous how I'm going quite a lot quicker in a straight line. Another 10 20k quicker in a lot of the straights. Yeah, I could break 20 meters later. Come on, that was pretty good through there. We're actually down there in the first sector because we didn't have DRS. Come on, let's have the exit now. Come on, we can do this. The next sector, we should be able to gain quite a lot, surely, without any dirt yet. Oh! Did you see that? I was counter-steering most of the way through that corner because we flicked it in from the curb and it unsettled the car. Bit more smooth, yeah. See, so didn't flick it in that time, and that was absolutely fine. Just turned it in rather than flicked it in. It's just, just ridiculous. Absolutely stupid. Surely we're up only by two tenths. 
only two tenths. We are pulling away from the guys behind, but not by an excessive amount. Oh. 19-7 by Hamilton. He's got into the 19s. And that just shows this is a good lap by me. The AI are normally quite quick at this track, but with a fully upgraded car, we were only three and a half tenths up. We need to find over two seconds. Let's have a look now. We're a P6. Not a bad result considering how stupid fast the AI were around that track. But let's have a look at the fastest lap comparison. We didn't actually catch what ours was, but Hamilton's was a 19-something. Oh my god. I, I'm a bit out of breath. It's so intense. You have to concentrate so intensely. Come on, let's get the fastest lap and then we can round out the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that one, guys. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. For one more uh, episode of this particular series, we're doing a mini three race series uh, and lots of other content on the channel it's coming up soon, including some F1 2021 content. Uh, so, uh, yeah. We were over two seconds slower than Hamilton. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. I, I just want to see the sector times. Give me, give me those. Give me your sector times, Hamilton. Twenty-five-three first sector. We did a twenty-six-zero. He was seven tenths quicker in the first sector. Thirty-two-four in the middle sector. We did a thirty-three-four. Three. So it's about a second in the middle sector. And he did a twenty-one-nine in the final sector. We could only do a twenty-two-five. And you saw that lap from us. That was quick. And by the way, Hamilton didn't even do a 19 in quali. Uh, so I don't know where he's pulled that lap out of. But wow, what a car. Anyway, guys, like I said, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we've got one more episode coming of this. We've got some awesome tracks coming up to round up the season, including Spa uh, and Italy. I want to see how fast we can go at Monza. I'm going to do low wings at Monza. And we're just going to just see. What can we hit? 360, 370, 380? Okay. Who knows? But anyway, guys, join me for that one. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.